So I just watched a great story from Simon Sinek where they just did a race and they were giving out free bagels. And he was with his friend and saying, there's free bagels over there, let's go. And his friend said, but there's a huge line. I, I don't want to wait for these bagels. And Simon's like, dude, there's free bagels. And then he started realizing, he goes, look, there's two different types of people that see the world differently. The one, like his friend, that saw the barriers to what he actually wanted. Because his friend actually did want a bagel, but he saw the barriers of the people standing in his way. Versus Simon just was like, I want a bagel, so I'm gonna go get a bagel. And I feel a lot of you all watching see the same thing. You see the barriers rather than the opportunity. And if you tr realize that you're seeing the barriers, then maybe you can tear them down. So today I'm interviewing a couple people for the podcast, and I'm really excited about it because the first person I'm interviewing is Sims Jenkins, and he was the first one on the podcast. And we're going to talk about how he transitioned from being the agency CEO to actually be bringing in a president and him being the chairman. The other podcast interview that I'm doing, which I'm also equally excited, is a gentleman that works with the corporate giants and the big politicians when things blow up. And we're gonna talk about the warning signs of you sabotaging yourself as a leader. So this is gonna be really interesting because there's a lot of you that are going through the burnout or about to go through burnout, and we're going to talk about how you can overcome this. And also I'm meeting with a couple clients today to help them out, to help them grow faster and easier. Yeah, so well, one way to get used to it, I, I was the same way, right? I could, I could chat with people, I could interview people, but you know, coming up with a concept from start to finish and then put it out there as a piece of content to help people was a challenge for me. And so what you could do is record your next call that walks your client through this and then give it to a copywriter to extract out or write kind of what I call the show notes. So I came up with this idea when, like when I start, first started podcasting like three years ago, I was doing my own show notes. Like I'd briefly be like, all right, here's the different value things. And then I saw people transcribing their podcast. Like, and I was like, well, no one, you know, for the people that like to read rather than listening to my awful voice, right? They're not going to want to listen to, a they don't want to read a transcription. Like reading a transcription is horrible. So then I was like, well, can I hire someone to basically kind of do what I call kind of the cliff notes of the really good stuff and it could stand on its own. So then we did this several times and I said, well, I want to put out some blog posts or other information without video or without audio, but I'm having a hard time writing because I'm just, I'm kind of like you, I have that mental block. And then I said, well, let me just record it, like record my next conversation with a client or record, obviously not give the details out <laughs> of the particular client or, or like record me just talking in the phone like I'm talking to a client. And then I would send that to someone to, you know, write the piece of content. And that just, uh, that just helped me move over that block and, and to, to really kind of move to the, you know, the next level in order to produce, produce content. Because what's standing in your way, be like the, your service and what you guys can do is so much better than about 90% of the people out there, right? Um, and, but people just don't know who you are because you're not putting out content. I think a lot of times we have that block because we don't want to feel stupid. <laughs> Doc documenting your whole life now is a, is, is a challenge. <laughs> hey, Steven, welcome to the show. Yeah, it's, it's been incredible. And, uh, you know, a big thanks to, to you for coming on the show twice before. You know, we were kind of joking in the pre-show, we, we were joking about our backdrops have changed. And like, I'll put a link to our first two interviews and like, literally, I remember like the lighting was like all like dark and dreary and like, if I could go back, I would hire them probably around the 15 mark, depending on your growth, 
your growth rate, right? Because if you think about when you get to that 15 mark, you're getting a ton of clients in and you're always worried about like, how do I keep up and how do I, what's my next account manager, my project manager. And then I personally was interviewing a ton of people and it was a big time suck on what I could, you know, what I should have been doing. And I'm sure you've probably experienced the same thing. All right. Another day in the books. We've had a lot of really cool interviews. We've chatted with some amazing clients and really helping them outperform their competition and really grow their agency faster and easier. And I think the theme of today is about becoming a better leader and inspiring people for what's possible. And I think you can build your business a hell of a lot quicker that way. Now, like every episode, I want to hear your comments below. Let me know what you liked and what you would like to see coming up. And until then, have a swank day.